Welcome to math window. Solve this equation about m and n. 1 over m plus 1 over n is equal to 1 over m plus n. How wonderful this equation is. So, so now the question is, from which method should we start? Of course, the right hand side is one fraction, but the left hand side, two. Of course, we don't like fractions, especially many. So what should we do? For the left hand side, for 1 over m, we can multiply the denominator and the numerator by n. So that means, for the left hand side, 1 over m, then plus 1 over n, it is equal to, for 1 over m, we can multiply by n on the numerator and on the denominator. So, now, it looks like this. n over m times n. And then plus 1 over n. We can multiply the numerator and the denominator by m. So now, what's our goal? Our goal is to make the numerators, oh sorry, the denominators have the same value, m times n. It is just equal to, the numerator is m plus n. Denominator, m times n. So that's the simplify. Of course, substitute it into our original equation. So the left hand side is m plus n and then over m times n. And the right hand side is 1 over m plus n. So what should we do? The left hand side is 1 fraction and the right hand side as well. So which method should we use? Of course, everybody knows that the cross multiplying. From here to here first is the left hand side. m plus n then times this m plus n is equal to mn is the right hand side then times 1. This times this is equal to this times this, the cross multiplying rule. So then of course, we can simplify it. The left hand side is m plus n squared, and the right hand side is m times n. Now, simplify it further. m plus n all squared is equal to m squared, and then plus 2 times mn, and then plus n squared is equal to mn. Now, the left hand side 2 times mn, and the right hand side 1 mn. We can subtract m times n on the both hand sides, and the left hand side will be m squared plus 2mn minus mn, it is m times n, just 1mn, and then plus n squared. The right hand side will be 0. Nice work! And then, maybe you don't have a clue anymore, so what should you do? Here will this form m squared plus n squared, then plus 1mn, what should we do? Usually, we want the coefficient of m times n be equal to 2, however now it is 1. So our only method is to multiply the both hand sides by 2, and the right hand side is still 0, because 0 times any number is 0. So now, 2 times m squared, then plus 2 times mn, then plus 2 times n squared is equal to 0. Oh my god, now we have a problem, we have a new problem. Although the coefficient of m times n is 2, however, the coefficient of m squared and n squared are also 2, not 1. You only want 1, 1. So what should we do? Don't worry! 
We always have a method, and we always have a way. Two times m squared. It can be written as m squared then plus m squared. Two times n squared. It is n squared plus n squared. So now we can write it as the new left hand side is m squared plus two m n plus n squared. The original left hand side is two times m squared. However, I've just written one m squared. So what should we do? We lack an m squared. So add it here. N squared as well. The right hand side zero. This thing, this section, m squared plus two times m n then plus n squared. What is it? Of course, it is m plus n all squared, and then plus m squared, and then plus n squared is equal to zero. Oh. I found a secret. What about you? What have you found out? Squared, 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 and the right hand side is zero. That's a simple equation. Why? Since we know that any number squared is always non-negative, so m plus n all squared it is non-negative. That means greater than or equal to zero. M squared non negative, n squared non negative. We added up three non negative numbers, and the answer is equal to zero. So the only possibility is these three guys are zero. That means m plus n zero. M is equal to zero, and n is also equal to zero. So from this we can get. M is equal to n is equal to zero, so the answer is zero zero. Oh yeah, maybe you wanna say that's the answer. However, to tell you the truth, you didn't pay attention. I will say that that's not the answer. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten steps ago. Have a look at the original equation. One over m plus one over n is equal to one over m plus n. And you should pay attention. What happened when m n and m plus n are the denominators? They cannot be equal to zero. Why? Since every denominator can't be equal to zero. You should write because m and n are the denominators, and m and n, of course, m plus n also. They cannot be equal to zero. So the answer is no solutions. There aren't any solutions. Because of these two steps, have you got it? And don't forget to give me some love. Subscribe to me for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye.